Hey YouTube, welcome back to another great video. Chris here with RC Worst, and uh, we're gonna show you quickly how to calibrate your QD pump tech. Now, the first thing I wanna preface this with is uh, when it comes to these QD pump techs, um, generally, probably 70, 80% of the time, the factory settings are gonna be fine, and there's gonna be no adjustment needed. But if you find that you need to adjust yours, you certainly can. Um, and you're gonna find most commonly you're gonna need to adjust these if you're using it with a motor that's not a Franklin Electric motor. Uh, but basically if it's a Franklin Electric motor, uh, one third through, uh, what, one horsepower, I believe, uh, through one and a half horsepower, uh, this should be set up and shouldn't take any adjustment. But the, fil the calibration process is pretty easy. So to get, to get started with this uh, calibration, you turn the dial to the field calibration setting, and um, then you need to put the unit back in place and run the system, or, or turn the breaker back on and allow the system to run. Um, this is gonna basically allow the system to run for about 15 seconds, and it's gonna turn the whole system off. Um, and that's completely normal. So what it's done is it's taken a snapshot of how your system operates and then it's gonna then operate normally after it turns on after that. So what you do after uh, you've gone through the process of field calibration and cycled the pump, it shut off auto automatically, it's taken the snapshot and stored it into the QD. What you wanna do now is open this back up and turn this sensitivity adjustment generally to zero. Um, and that's gonna be basically based on exactly your pump. Now, the, there's really not a lot of need to mess with these sensitivity adjustments because uh, this unit is designed to trip out at 80% of full load. Um, so that, or if, you, if your pump falls below 80% of full load. So if you want to reduce the sensitivity of that, for instance, if you're in a shallow well scenario, uh, you could reduce it to, let's say, 70% or 60% if it falls below. Um, or in a deeper well scenario, you may want to increase the sensitivity because the load on the motor is much higher so it's gonna take a higher degree of sensitivity to identify an issue. Um, so I would say in most applications, you're not gonna to need to mess with the sensitivity, but you'll know um, based on your system's performance whether or not this QD is stopping and starting the pump at the appropriate uh, interval and whether or not it's picking up on your dry well conditions or whatever condition it is that you've selected this unit to protect you against. Um, and then you can make the adjustments accordingly. Uh, and then the only other adjustment here is the timeout. So it's default to 60 minutes. So when this trips the, um, trips the pump, you're going to have a 60 minute timer that starts and then the system will turn back on after that 60 minutes. This can be increased as far as 240 or decreased as low as two minutes. And this is typically based on a combination of your well recovery rate, as well as um, what the volume of your rated pump is. So you're trying to um, allow your well or system to recover as much as possible in order to minimize system cycles. So just keep that in mind. This is a relatively easy unit to set up and calibrate. If you have any questions on calibrating this unit, I recommend just giving us a call, but you're certainly welcome to leave any comments or questions below. Don't forget to stay tuned for more videos like this every Tuesday and Friday, uh, and hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time.